Hey, what's going on, Jasper Nation? Austin here, and I'm joined by Darby Rollins and also our guest, John Benson, who is the inventor of the video sales letter, the VSL, uh, and also founder of Copy Pros. He's an expert copywriter known in the industry to uh, help write VSLs for people like Frank Kern, uh, digitalmarketer.com, and a slew of others that we'll talk about here uh, as examples shortly. Um, along with this training, for the first time ever, we have had a guest expert copywriter train Jasper on the highest converting examples and also the framework for how Jasper can make a VSL very quickly in one click of a button for you. And so this is the first time that we've ever done this. You'll find in the show notes down below uh, where you can get access to that template. You don't have to be on boss mode. You can use this on starter mode. And if you're uh, new here to Jasper, that just starts at 29 bucks a month. So you can literally get in there. We'll also include a link to a free trial so you can get in and try this VSL today alongside of us. Um, now, you'll also be getting a few free gifts from both Darby and from John. And at the end, if you want to use VSLs within your strategy for marketing, which I firmly believe will help you hit your Q4 goals and scale up your ad budget into the millions per month with a really good video sales letter. Now, what's a VSL? It is a 60 to 90 second video, a mini VSL is a 60 to 90 second video that captures attention and then drives traffic uh, that is a qualified audience where you can collect their leads, whether that's a, a demo, that's a PDF, that's a free training, or even a free trial. So you can use this in so many different industries, whether it's in tech or if it's in info or e-commerce, et cetera. We're going to show a lot of examples today, but uh, this show um, is going to be about 60 to 90 minutes long. And we're going to both do in the beginning, some training on why VSLs are important, how, uh, understanding the mythology here and, and some proven examples on how that works. John's going to lead the discussion there. We're going to then go into a little bit of a demo on uh, the actual Jasper template to show how AI can generate you a VSL, a mini VSL for your business. And then we're also going to uh, bring in the AI author, Darby Rollins, to showcase a recipe where if you're feeling like you need some inspiration from AI to brainstorm ways to position your product, and how to interact with your audience. That's going to be an amazing section at the end as well, uh, along with some further education if you uh, if you desire. So with that, let me hand it over here to John Benson, uh, the inventor of the VSL and founder of Copy uh, CopyPros.ai. And uh, we'll have a discussion here about how to use many VSLs. And Darby uh, is, is an amazing... Uh, expert here on Jasper. So he will also help lead discussions as well. So guys, uh, I'm going to be here in the background. Uh, throughout this, it's also interactive. We have a discussion going on in Facebook. So if you want to join the conversation there, you're welcome to. But uh, with that, for the next 90 minutes, go ahead, turn off notifications and let's hand it over to these guys. Awesome. Thanks a lot for having me. And it's copypro.ai, but uh, but no S if you put the in the S in it, you may not go somewhere, but I might now have to get the S one, the one with the S. So thank you, man. <laughs> so Austin, Darby, thanks a lot for having me here again. Thank you very much for watching this training again, wherever you're watching it from. I'm going to share some slides because this is going to be fast and furious. This is going to be a lot of information all at once. And we want to make sure that you take as many notes as you can, because you're going to walk away with something that you can apply today and you will put to use immediately. So I'm going to share my screen. And if you see me looking off to the side, it's because I do have to have some notes here to help me give the best, best, best presentation that I possibly can today. All right. So this is a new framework that we're talking about for VSLs. I'll explain what a framework is in just a moment. And this framed VSL is a mini VSL in this particular instance. And it's done a lot of money by pulling in a lot of leads. It's pulled in about $355 million so far that I know of. It's more than that, but I just don't know everyone that's been using it. But this mini VSL has been capturing leads at a very, very high rate for people. And we can't wait to share it with you. But this is for any video that you do, any VSL, any length. I created the framework for long form VSLs, 60 minute VSLs that you took traditional T because that's the very first VSL. That's the VSL I created. This works for VSLs, webinars, anything dealing with video, YouTube, you name it. Okay. 
This new framework can increase your sales or definitely increase your retention time and leads all in about 21 days. Now, and it works for, like I said, long, short VSLs, you name it, for any business, but virtually any business that I've ever seen. I'll put it that way. And what you're about to see is actually the result of me asking myself one question. Why are certain VSLs converting really high? They're crushing it. While others that look, they appear to be the same. They kind of have the same structure. They're bombing. And this really started happening around 2020, where I would see one VSL and I go, this is working great. And another VSL, this is tanking. And as a copywriter, as a guy that writes a ton more, probably more VSLs than anybody else has, I, I would think I would be able to spot the patterns. And it took me a little bit to spot the pattern, but I did uncover what I think to be the reason why. Because what I did is I did, first of all, dissected some of my winners, winners I'd written for other people, winners that I knew that were working, my top VSLs over the past few years. And I used these winners to create others, to create rather what's working better today and to help others do the same thing. Like why wasn't the same thing that was working five years ago working today? And I think I figured out the reasons why. I'll talk about that later. And then here recently, I teamed up with the guys that you see on your screen with AI author and with Jasper to automate this mini version of the VSL, the mini VSL, really pretty cool. 355 million in sales to a very small test group. And again, these are only 60 to 90 seconds long. So these are not the 60 minute long VSLs, but you will need the same framework that I'm going to cover for the longer VSLs for sure. In fact, you're going to need all of it. I'm going to cover the nine components of this framework in this, in this training today. And the mini VSL, believe it or not, uses three of those, sometimes four. So you're going to need this information. Definitely going to need to write it down. It's all about the frame. So what is a frame? A frame is nothing more than like a lattice work. Something goes underneath a VSL. You can actually take a new, a, an old VSL and create a new frame around it and without having to rewrite the whole VSL at all. And I'm going to go into more details about what this means. But where are these frame VSLs working best? Well, if you're a company looking to, like for Austin mentioned this, smash your fourth quarter goals or your next quarter goals, it's going to work to help you do that, to help you pull in more qualified leads. If you're a sales rep and you're looking to drive more qualified leads, again, the, 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 the key word here is qualified, right? You don't want just any lead coming into your funnel. You want qualified leads coming to your funnel. Now, this is working great on social media platforms like Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and more for pulling in ads and obviously working for paid traffic. So, but if you're running ads and you want to test those ads and you want to find the winners of these ads, this is one of the best ways I've ever seen to do this. Now, check this out. Let's look at some examples of people that are running these as ads and how many different varieties that you can see running these little mini VSLs. This is my friend, Perry Belcher here, and he's running a mini VSL right now on his homepage. And it's got every word on the screen as it should. That's really, really good. Here's one that we ran. I want to go back here because I missed that slide. Here's one that we ran, um, or that Sam Carr ran rather, and they're running it with vocals, where well, they're running it with animation. They're running it with a full, it's, it looks like a normal video. Here's one we did for CopyPro, copypro.ai, my software company. As you can see, there was a doodle version of this. And here's one my friend Ted did that's just a talking head. They're all over the place. You can do these in many different ways. So you don't, you're not stuck with just slides. You're not stuck with just animation. You're not stuck with just fancy video. You can do anything, but the frame underneath it, the words underneath it are super, super important. And there are certain things that are working now, certain things that are not working now. This is going to work great if you're selling an offer that requires a long form BSL or a webinar like an info product, supplement, software, et cetera. Or maybe, hey, you're just trying to impress your boss. You work in the marketing department of a company and you just want to bring something new. I think you're going to find something here that is going to help you. Now, here's the most important thing probably that I'll teach you all day. So if you don't write down anything else, please write this down. I believe what's more important than a VSL or any medium of marketing for that matter is to understand and apply why video sales letters work. Why do those videos with nothing but words on the screen, kind of like what you're seeing here, except I'm reading every single word. It'd be going by slide, slide, slide. Those are VSLs. Many VSLs are 60 to 90 seconds long. Why do they work? What is the psychology that is making people respond to these? So that's what I'm going to be covering today. And this new framework I'm showing you, like I said, it can be applied to anything. So you do not need to have a VSL, but we all believe you definitely should because they're just, they're, they're ubiquitous. You must have one in today's marketing world. You really do. 
This is what makes persuasion work. The things I'm going to be talking about today, there are nine components I'm going to be talking about today. They are what make persuasion work and all forms of selling far more effective. So if that suits your fancy, if you are here looking to sell more, to persuade more and to do it ethically, I teach a course on ethical persuasion. So ethical persuasion is absolutely possible. Then you are in the right place. This is what you have to do. Think of it this way. Before you ever write a single word of a VSL or a webinar or even a sales page or enter a keyword into Jasper, you need this stuff first. And you're going to see this. You're going to see this later when Darby fills this out in Jasper that he needed to get some of this information before he was able to fill it out exactly the way he's going to fill it out. Now, why am I doing this training? Why am, uh, is a guy that owns Copy Pro doing training with guys that own Jasper? Uh, are, aren't we competitors? Aren't we enemies? No, not at all. Uh, I'm doing this for several reasons. First of all, I'm not really here to sell you stuff, although I am going to give you an offer. I'm going to make you an offer at the end of this presentation. And if you take me up on it, awesome. If you don't, that's great. I hope that you learn a lot from this. But I am definitely here to sell you on yourself and on your ability to use these little mini VSLs inside this new framework, okay? And if you don't want to use them in a VSL, you can use them in something else that you're doing video-wise. Now, we use VSLs as a teaching model, as you're seeing right here. And yes, I believe every business should have a video sales that are some kind. And I want your goal to be set in stone so that we're not doing something arbitrary. Just write down a goal that I want to apply this mini VSL I'm going to learn what John has to teach. Maybe I'll take John up on his offer. Maybe I won't. I'll go into Jasper. I'll crank it out. And I want to see more sales in about 21 days. That's the goal. Okay. And I want you to stick around for another goal that's definitive. <laughs> I'm going to give you a free gift. Now, it's something that I believe as a guy that's into AI as well, and certainly copywriting software, that I believe that this is where the struggles really begin, when you have to create a story. Now, what's really cool about AI is it's gotten so good at writing stories, it can actually write in the style of, say, a, a, a famous author, right? We all know about the examples of this. But when it comes to your story, when it comes to writing a compelling story about yourself, you need to know how to sell in your story. Your story should be setting up the sell. So I'd love to give this to you for free. If you stick around to the very end of the workshop, it's literally the last slide. I'll show you where to get my story selling for you. It will help you a lot in this journey. So now I'm going to show you some long form VSLs just from one merchant right now. And I'm not going to show you the VSLs. I'm going to show you little clips of them, a little screenshots of them. But I'm showing this to you from a merchant called ClickBank. And before you freak out and go ClickBank, ClickBank, I'm not a, I'm not a direct response guy. Well, if you are great, if you're not, that's no big deal. I'm showing you a ClickBank because I can prove to you what I'm saying. I went there to look at who the top offers are. Where are the top offers coming from right now? It just so fine. It happens to find out that they're all coming from VSLs. So video sales letters done right, done in the framework that I'm going to be talking about today, they still work really, really well. So here's the number one author in health and fitness. Now, it's an ugly VSL. As you can tell, there's nothing pretty about that VSL, but you can see it by the gravity. You can see it by the proof over here. Number one in health and fitness. Number one in business and investing, a VSL. Again, an ugly VSL. Number one in computers, internet, uglier VSL. Number one in self-help, VSL. And onward and onward I could go. Now, what's really cool is you don't need to go with the ugly VSL route. Like if you're a branded company, you can't do that. You want to stick to your brand, but you need the psychology that's underneath those ugly VSLs to be applied to your VSL. You don't need to be hypey, but you need the psychology. And today we're going to create this mini VSL using Jasper and what I call an attention frame. We're going to be talking about attention frameworks today. That is the goal right in front of your eyes. We're going to create it for you in about 20 or 30 minutes from now, using your Jasper account and the recipe that we're going to give you at the end of this workshop, you'll be able to crank out mini VSLs in minutes. I mean, when they showed this to me, it blew my mind to see my recipe come out, my, my, my script, my recipe, my formula come out inside of Jasper and have much added to it. I think it's going to blow your mind too. So if you don't know who I am, I am the godfather of the VSL. I created VSLs back in 2006, and I've gone on to be a VSL coach to a lot of A-list guys you may know about. For example, Ryan Dice from Digital Marketer, Traffic and Conversions. He's the founder of both. He said VSLs like I use and teach have a hypnotic effect at work. They've used them to make millions. Perhaps, you know, Frank Kern, one of the most famous marketers in the world. This is hands down the best VSL training he's seen. And Mike Phil saying that he's used this training to write VSLs in a matter of hours. To give you a perspective on that, 
it, without using AI at all to write a long form VSL would take you weeks, some people months, definitely days, even if you're fast to write one in a matter of hours is pretty cool. Now, here's why I believe this training is different. It's not just because I'm doing it. It's because I really do believe attention framework works or can crush it regardless of what you're selling and regardless of what industry you're in, unless it's some extreme example, like a far-fetched industry that just would never work with video. If video would work for you at all, whether it's video like you're looking at here, which is words and mostly words and me talking, or if it's video that's pretty video, well-produced video like you saw earlier, as long as the frame that I'm talking about is underneath it, it's going to convert better most of the time. Is that fair? Cool. Now, the other cool thing that I think is very different is this is not something that you have to just completely discard your existing VSL or video or webinar. Unless it's really bad, then you should discard it. If it's just not converting at all, maybe you should start from scratch. But you can pop this right on top of just about any kind of existing video, and then you can use it to create something from scratch if you want to as well. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. We're going to be talking a little bit today about what I call the buying language. Everyone has a buyer. And everyone has an ideal buyer. There is a massive difference between these two, okay? And your goal as a marketer, even if you're not a professional marketer, you could be in the marketing department. You could be a, someone who's a dentist or a chiropractor that just needs to market their company. You are a marketer by definition if you try to sell things, to try to improve your sales online. So that whether you, you're not a professional marketer, but you are engaged in marketing, you need to understand the buying language of your ideal buyer, not your average buyer, and certainly not your poor buyers. You don't want the poor buyers. I don't mean financially poor. I mean the buyers that buy and complain and refund and you know, you know, they, they talk crap about you online. You want your ideal buyer. Someone who's like, I am so ready to buy everything this guy ever puts out or this girl ever puts out. I, I'm just going to do it right now. I'm a fan. I'm going to tell everyone about this too. <laughs> That's who you want to attract more of. They have a specific language. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, okay, the buying language of your ideal buyer today. And this doesn't require you to be a copywriter like me or a copy expert or some marketing whiz or a tenure pro to figure out you can learn this relatively fast. But why is it so important? Well, there's a lot of reasons. But before we talk about why it's so important, I like to talk about whys because the whys drive everything. I mean, if your why is big enough, you'll do anything, right? But why is it so important that you get your fingertips Get, your, get this under your fingers today as fast as you can. Well, you're probably not a pro copywriter. And if you are welcome, that's awesome. This is going to help you a lot. I, I'm going to say this again. You are a marketer, okay? <laughs> or you're an owner of an offer that's in need of effective sales copy. Like I said, you may be a dentist and a marketer. You may be a fitness expert and a marketer. You may be a coach. You may be in the marketing department, but you're still a marketer if you're trying to sell something more effectively. And simply having a VSL is no longer enough to separate you from your competition. It used to be, it used to be, okay? This framework is gonna help you separate yourself from the competition in major ways. And I believe VSLs, and I'll prove this to you today, I think that VSLs are the best lead magnets in the world. And without leads, you starve. Well, well not literally, we hope. Your business will starve without leads, right? You need fresh leads on a weekly or monthly basis to keep your business alive, to keep things flowing. So this is why we're giving this to you today, because why not start with leads? Great place to start. Now, you'll need some place to drive those leads too. <laughs> That's a longer form VSL or a longer form webinar. We'll talk about that when the time is right. Attention frameworks work with the right tools, which you're going to have today, are pretty straightforward to build, Okay. And you can pop this over any form of VSL that you're currently using. You're just going to have to ask yourself nine checklist questions. And we're going to go through these right now. Every answer to these questions must be yes if it's a long-form VSL. And if it's a short-form VSL and they're just not applicable, you just, just put in A. It's okay, right? But if, they're, if, it's, if it's applicable to whatever you're writing and the answer is no, go back and fix it. You'll know for sure before you ever put something live if you should put something live. Let's dive into the specifics. Here's what I want you to remember. I want you to remember an acronym now, N-O-W. It stands for notice one want. There are three areas that I want you to focus on getting noticed or being, or getting your prospect to feel noticed. There are three areas that I want you to focus on just one thing and make sure that your script is nailing one thing in three areas. And there's three areas where I want you to focus on three 
once. I want to go over each one of these so that there's no questions here. Okay. So the in in now is notice. And the very first thing is that your VSL must be noticed by your ideal buyers. Like we talked about, how do we attract the ideal buyer? Well, first of all, we have to attract any buyer, right? So we're just going to start from the basics. How do you attract anyone? Well, the secret is the first seven seconds. And the secret to getting your pastor for seven seconds is answering this question. Yes. This is question one, write it down. Is my VSL getting noticed with sufficient attention within the first seven seconds? That's what you want to ask yourself. Now, how do you do that? Well, I'll tell you, but first, have you ever heard the expression, a woman knows if she's going to date a man within the first seven seconds of meeting? That's probably true, right? Well, guess what? Your ideal buyer knows on some level whether they're going to pay attention to you or not. You, they might not know whether they're going to buy something or not because they won't even know that you're selling anything with a VSL, but they know if they're going to pay attention or not within the first seven seconds of a VSL. That's where the majority of drop-off happens is that seven seconds. And we want to elongate that drop-off just a little longer because when we do, we notice retention curves like I'm going to show you later. Instead of going like this right off a cliff, they go like this. And that's what you want. That means more people paying attention longer. And to do that, you need a pattern interrupt, okay? A pattern interrupt is a potent way of grabbing somebody's attention. You must be able to do uh, create a pattern interrupt that creates a lot of interest. Now, it's a long, long, long lesson on how to create pattern interrupts, okay? But I don't have time to go into that today. But I will briefly tell you that you can create a very simple linguistic pattern interrupt by asking a question that doesn't have an immediate answer. That's one thing you can do to create a little bit of inquisition. Now, there is 10 different, there are 10 different types of pattern interrupts that I use on a, but basically rotating them through VSLs. Sometimes I'll test all 10 in a VSL. We don't have time to go into that, but I'll tell you where to get that later on. Second of all, you must be noticed by your ideal buyers, okay? You must be noticed. Notice the difference there. Your VSL is not you. Your VSL must stand out in the first seven seconds. So here's how you answer this question. It's got to be yes, but you got to ask it. Am I being noticed by my ideal, ideal buyer without being too flashy or unreachable? And this is where so many marketers fail. And if you're a company and you're saying, oh, well, we're a company, we just talk about how our company values or our company motto or our company mission statement. Guess what? That too is a little flashy. You need to be as real as you can while being reachable. This is so important. Cannot be overstated. How do you become more reachable? Let's talk a little bit about this. Now, first of all, I'm a little bit of an exception because I can say, well, I created VSL. So that kind of makes, that is true. And that definitely, well, that could put me way into this thing. But when I talk about myself on off of a webinar, like when I talk about myself, if I'm selling a uh, copy pro or whatever, I always talk about the things that I struggle with. <laughs> and like I started this VSL saying, you know, I'm looking at things that are bombing and looking at things that are working. Why on earth is this not working? That makes me more reachable, but it also is true. So don't be afraid of telling the truth, of telling your story in a modest way. Now, another way that I love to do this is say, listen, I wasn't always known as one of the world's top copywriters. In fact, I used to suck at this. I used to be pretty freaking terrible. My first letter that I ever wrote bombed so badly, I felt like just quitting. And that, all that's true, by the way. So those are diff those different ways. And there's many different ways that you can do this, where you, get, you can stand out in, without being flashy, stand out in what I call modest rapport but you have to be noticed. The messenger of your video, whether it's a company or a person, must be noticed and must be felt by the viewer as being someone or something that's very approachable, okay? Number three, your ideal buyer must feel noticed by you. And get this, this is the tricky part. This one's tricky, given permission to be noticed by others. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, this is the secret to selling without selling, selling without being too salesy, to set the framework for a conversation and one that's based around two words, validation and empathy, validation and empathy. I know that sounds a little bit hard maybe, but I'm going to show you just real briefly how important it is to validate your prospects' fears and struggles, okay? And to have empathy toward those struggles. If you do not convey that in your VSL or in your sales message, I don't care if VSL or email or text message, it doesn't matter. You will not close as many sales. You'll simply lose people because they don't feel understood. 
and your goal is to make someone feel understood. So I want you to listen to this question carefully. Have I given my ideal buyer the psychological permission to be noticed and the mental security to receive it? That's a big one. <laughs> okay. That's a little tricky. Okay. Again, it's validation and it's empathy. You have to make your reader feel understood. Okay. So empathy is the process of relating to your prospects, fears, pains, and pleasures. And from there, this is where your avatar research is absolutely critical. And what's really cool about Jasper, what I found out about Jasper when I started working with these guys is how awesome it is at research. And you can do a lot of research with this tool. It's pretty badass, really. Okay. But let me tell you the secret. The people that do deep dive avatar research, who is my buyer? Not like men and women between the ages of 40 and 55. That, that's not what I mean. What are their hopes, their dreams, their passions, their fears? How do they word them? How do they say them in casual conversation? Yes, there are places that you can go to find that out. And this is what you need to do. You must go to these places. I'll talk a little bit about more about how to do that later, but this is up to you to do. And then I like to write like a little diary. Who is my avatar? Just a couple of pages maybe and say, this is, I'm writing in their voice. I'm literally writing the avatar's voice. So who is my ideal buyer? I'm writing in their voice. So the more I write in their voice and the more that you can train Jasper to write in their voice, the better your copy is going to be. And what this does is validation and empathy is the psychological triggers to allow people to do two things. Number one, it gives them permission to be noticed by others. They can finally say to themselves, wow, he, she, that company, they see me. I feel seen. I'm noticed by others. Being seen for who you really are, pain and warts and all, is vital. And it's vital that you do this in an ethical way that you say, I absolutely do. I see you. I know where you're coming from. I've either been there before or we have or our customers have. That is super important. And then you can give them permission to feel noticed by you. You can say, wow, this guy, they are, they, this, this person feels like they've known me all their life. I feel like I'm reading as something that was written specifically for me. So let's recap the in and now. You must be noticed by your ideal buyers. Your VSL must be noticed. Then you must be noticed by your ideal buyers. And your ideal buyer must feel noticed by you and given permission to be noticed by others. Now, that's a lot to cover, but we got a lot more to cover. So let's get into the O in now. And that stands for one. Now, there are lots of things that you need to focus on in a VSL, but there are three things in particular that you need to narrow down to one. Now I'm gonna explain what our mind, what, what I mean by this. If I say there are 19 ways you can lose fat and that's my VSL opening. Well, your, your mind is gonna check out at step four, right? It, like, okay, just give me, I, I don't wanna know that. There, there are 17 reasons why, you're, why you can't train your dog, why your dog is disobedient. Okay, well, you've seen these checklists, right? They're kind of long, but what if I was to say, you know what? There's 17 reasons why, but really, if you focus on one thing, just one reason why your dog will be obedient, it's 90% of the secure. I have your attention if you have a disobedient dog, right? You can do this as a marketer. Marketer, remember the, what that word really means, right? You can do this, but you have to do it. You have to be the one that narrows this down to one thing. So what three areas? One big problem. One big problem. Question number four, write it down, please. Have I distilled my ideal buyer's problems? Because they have several, <laughs> they have many probably. Now I'm talking about problems related to what you're selling into one big branded hook-like problem. What do I mean by that? Does that make sense? Well, here's what I mean. If you haven't seen the hooks I'm about to talk about or haven't seen these, then maybe you haven't been paying attention to marketing, but more than likely you've seen tons of them because they're all over the place. And when you brand your you brand the problem with a phrase, a two or three word phrase of your own making, guess what? You own that and you can use it forever and stand out as the only person with the solution to X problem. So you can distill all the problems somebody's having into one branded problem. Now, it's gonna, what this is called is a negative hook. The negative hook becomes the reason why your prospect is suffering. And you're gonna name it something unique, okay? My negative hook in this particular, in one of my particular VSLs that I just wrote is digital noise. I talk about standing out from the crown and the reason why that you can't stand out from the crown isn't traffic, isn't the fact that you don't have a large traffic budget, isn't the fact that you don't have a you know, high converting copy, isn't this, isn't that. It's really one thing. 
digital noise. If you solve if you solve digital noise, you'll you solve all your problems. Now, all I did was lump those problems into that, and I dissect the parts of that later on in the BSL. But the brain latches on to oh, I can understand one thing. I can pay attention to one thing, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Now, another example of this is a very famous hook that I wrote called leptin resistance that'd be for a company called BioTrust. Now their VSL went on to do something in the neighborhood of 50 or $60 million. But that term became so popular that you can Google it now and it comes up in some medical literature. Okay, all I did was combine two words that I knew I, that sounded scary. I, I wanted to talk about leptin and, I, and how I want to talk about it. Well, well, it's, it's resistance. And so I phrased this, I, I described a biological condition that already existed just giving a slightly different name. And next thing you know, it's in the lexicon. And that's not the first time this has happened. <laughs> I've had several of these happen where I Google stuff and it's like, wow, it's now in the lexicon. You know, the cardiac killer, it's in the lexicon now as well. And that's the hook I came up for, for Niagen, the very first uh, Golden Hippo BSL. So that's how we do it. One big problem. Now for a cardiac killer, for example, there's not one thing that causes heart disease, right? There's all sorts of things, but I said, there's one thing that you got to pay attention to more than anything else. And we call it the cardiac killer. They're the only people talking about it now. That's what I want for you. It's a little tricky to do this. And I do have some training when I help you with, if you want it uh, at the end of this, end of this workshop, because I can definitely help you do this because you're going to also need to do one bigger solution. Just like you had one problem. You want to ask this question as well. Have I distilled the primary mechanism for my offer? The thing that makes your offer tick down to one big branded hook like solution. It's the same thing, only this time it's a positive hook, right? Positive hook. P90X, the the uh, the workout routine from the from the two year night late nineties, early two thousands. Their positive hook was muscle confusion. Now, what's funny is that hook was just ripped off verbatim. I don't know if they did it on purpose. I'm not saying that they did, so please don't take it that way. But but that term was used by a guy named Joe Weeder back in the nineteen eighties. So I, they just took it and ran with it because people hadn't heard of it. And so now if, you're, if your workout doesn't have muscle confusion in it, it's not going to work. So this is their bigger solution. This is what caused it to work. They went on to be the first billion dollar fitness company. Hmm. People remember muscle confusion before they even remember P90X because P90X isn't a good name. But you're going to want to have the same thing branded for your solution. Now, that's not the product. Notice that muscle confusion is not P90X. So your solution is not your offer. Your solution is not your offer. It's what makes your offer tick. It's the unique mechanism behind your offer. And you need one. Finally, you need one call to action. This is by far the easiest one of these to employ. It's very simple, unless you have a product that's got multiple price points. Because I want to ask you, I want you to ask this question. Do I have one single price point featured in an easy to understand call to action? Now, one price point. So you're saying, John, but we have software that has four different membership levels. Okay, great. Take the one that sells the most and sell that one first. <laughs> Just focus on this one thing. And if someone says, no, thank you, say, okay, I got these, these ones that fall underneath it, downsell it. If they say, thank you, go, oh, I've got this one that's even better. If you want that one, upsell it. Because then it becomes a one, one, one binary, yes, no decision. Just try this. You should have one link in your emails one price on your sales page, unless you absolutely cannot avoid it because you want to remove what's called buyer friction. Your ideal buyer especially doesn't like friction. So removing friction, making that smooth process from the checkout page to the credit card, to them accessing your goods. That's what you want. You want it to be very smooth. And if they've got choices to make in the middle, that makes it hard. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's the one call to action. Now let's review the O in now. We got one problem. You're going to make it really big and you're going to brand. You're going to create some brand for it. Again, I got training to help you do that if you want it. Same thing with the bigger solution. You want a hook. You want even better than that what's called a big idea. If you have a big idea, offers go from nothing to millions with big ideas. Big ideas rule the marketing world. Love to help you create one. One call to action. Really simple to employ. Figure out how to do it. Test it. See if it doesn't work better for you. Cool. Okay. Finally, we're down to the W. In now, and that stands for once. Now, we have three wants I want you to focus on. First of all, I want you to focus on what's called immediate wants. What are immediate wants? Well, here's the question Do I have something my ideal buyer will want promised in the first 90 seconds of your VSL that's delivered inside your VSL? Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of water and let me make that distinction super clear for you. 
I'm not saying, did you make a promise in the first 90 seconds? Like, hey, I'm going to show you how to lose weight if you buy my product. That, 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 that's a promise. It's not a good one. What I'm saying is I'm going to show you a trick to losing weight that takes 10 seconds in the first nine, in, in, in nine minutes, nine minutes from now, or in, in a few minutes from now. You can say in a few minutes from now, if it's longer than that. That's a promise that you're going to fulfill within around 60 minutes. <laughs> so that is an immediate want, something they want that they really want immediately something that wouldn't take days, weeks, months that you can fulfill inside your VSL. Do you see the difference? Make the promise stick. So that creates what we call stickiness. All right. You want stickiness. You don't want to just get attention. Like a, your pattern or question number one gets attention. Questions two through nine secure attention. And that's the name of the game. You want to secure attention throughout the entire VSL process. And that is the key to making attention frames work. It secures attention. And this one right here is one of the best ones that you'll ever use. Use this one, deliver a promise in that first 90, 90 seconds that you're going to deliver something. Boom, you got it made. So immediate wants, long-term wants. What are long-term wants? Well, let's talk about that. Do I have promises my ideal buyer will want to receive at the key persuasion targets within my VSL? Now, there are many persuasion targets. Thing I just don't have time to go into all of them, but I can tell you this, that you need to have the difference in your mind between wants and needs to make this even work. So let's talk a little bit about that because I can't go into all the points here because I'd have to go into an entire VSL, which we don't have time to do. But let's talk about the difference. A want fulfilled is usually a sign that a need has been met. Wants are what the juicy things that sell, okay? If I think of them that way. Needs are what people need to do to get what they want. Now, I gave this analogy before, and maybe you've heard it before, but let's say your significant other comes up to you and says, honey, I need, I want, I, I really, I really need to go to Hawaii. Okay. Well, and you're looking at her like, uh, well, in my case, it's her, um, honey, um, you need to go to Hawaii? I, why? Is there a family member dying in Hawaii? What? No, no, we need to go to Hawaii. What is she really saying? She's really saying, I want to go to Hawaii, but this isn't the, that's not the cool part. The cool part is what she's really saying, what she needs. So if you probe a little deeper, honey, what is it that you really need? What are you saying? Ah, I just really need to spend alone time with you. We need to get away. We need some romantic. Yeah, okay. You, you see where I'm going with this? That's the need. The need must happen before the want even means anything. Another simple example for this is weight loss. Somebody needs to lose weight, right? But they want to look great in a swimsuit. They want to see their abs for the first time. They want to fit back in their high school jeans or dress. Those are wants. Wants sell, needs clarify, okay? But you must understand what long-term wants are. What does your user want over the next 30 to 90 days? And in your VSL, you need to make sure that in the key persuasion targets, you talk about, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what your life's going to look like. You're going to dimensionalize those very, very powerful trick there. Then there's what's called value wants. This is just simply a good offer and a pitch. So here's the final question. Is my offer truly irresistible? One that captures exactly what my ideal buyer wants and at a price that is in the sweet spot. So what they want in a price that's in the sweet spot. So let me explain a couple of things about how to structure an offer. Way too long to go into here in this training, but I'll give you some basics. The best offers are tested, price tested, first of all, because most people price too low, not too high. That's an interesting little fact you might want to consider. So definitely test that. But when it comes down to justifying why somebody wants to buy something, you must understand how they buy to begin with. And people buy, male and female, doesn't matter, based on emotion. They justify what they buy based on logic, okay? I can give you a thousand examples for this, but what people are saying when they're watching your video, doesn't matter how logical or rational they are, they're saying, hmm, I want that. And wants are very rarely logical. Wants are often illogical. <laughs> the anti-Spock, okay? Wants, not logical. You know, I, but it doesn't mean that they're not, they're not somewhat reasonable. Like let's say somebody wants to look better in a swimsuit, but is that it's, you don't need that, right? That's not a, like a need. It's not actually, actually something that's logical per se, but it makes sense that somebody would want that. Does that make sense? So to understand those things and to create a value want, 
the price and the offer must be equally understandable. So you must be able to emotionally compel them to buy. You're going to get X, Y, and Z. Your life is going to look like X, Y, and Z. You're going to feel X, Y, and Z because now you're going to justify it with logic because name of product contains X, Y, Z and X, Y, Z has been proven to help one, two, three. Now I am logically justifying what I emotionally want. And that is called a value want. You must have all nine of these components inside a VSL. Let's recap real quickly. Immediate wants, things in the, fir the first 90 seconds of your VSL, you're going to deliver something over the next 60 minutes. Long-term wants, what are they going to experience over the 60, 90 days or longer if they take you up on your offer and value wants? Justify by reason, but sell with emotion. And now I believe you can understand why these attention frames work so well. Ken Wood applied this and check out the difference in the attention. Talk about some attention framework mastery going on here. Look at the dip in the first video compared to the second video. Slight bit of a difference, just a slight. Yeah, he's using my formula and this very well, doing really, really well. Now, Robert is just a solopreneur and he's doubled his sales using the method. method. He's using a very basic video template, nothing too fancy. So again, attention frames are not limited to VSLs. Dewan is a manager in the business development industry. And he simply says, my stuff helps him convert. His bank accounts are better off for it. And Kevin just crushed it in a launch that he did in Brazil. And very interesting. He was using a very cool, unique pattern. He took my training and learned how to do that. And he was writing in a foreign language. So he, <laughs> he's writing in literally Portuguese and he's not, he's not from there. Seven figures at his first year. And he says he sucks at writing. Now, Caleb is using these. And one of the first guys to use these mini VSLs that I created. And here's what his results. He's, uh, he was spending $650 a day on traffic at the time. He's already bumped that way higher than that and is making a lot more from his efforts. So let's do a quick recap cap of the training and we're going to get into a demo here. We covered what attention frameworks are and why they're now essential for any VSL or any webinar or any sales page to be effective. In this noisy marketplace we've got, got a lot of video going around. Man, 2020 video shot through the roof. Everybody's watching video and there are a lot more people staying home. You need to capture these video viewers, but you've got to cut through the noise to do it. That's what attention frameworks help you do. We covered the now method and how to use it inside your attention frame and use it to create one. But in and now is notice how to get in secure attention throughout your VSL. The O and now is one. Why focusing on one things, three to one things can make or break your sales. And then the W is once how to create an irresistible offer, land more sales. And now let's show it to you in action live. I want to bring on Darby, the founder of AI author, and we're going to create a mini VSL from scratch using what he's learned from this attention framework course. And we're going to do this inside Jasper, of course, because it's so fun to watch. Now, Darby is using three of the nine attention frame components. I used four in my mini VSL, even though this is just over a minute long. And here's a challenge for you. See if you can spot the three that he picked out, the three that he's using. Okay, I'm going to bring you on here, my friend. So let me go over here and stop the share. And... That was awesome, John. Uh, and I hope everybody took a lot of notes. Uh, you'll be applying those notes here too when you create your mini VSL uh, here with Jasper. Yes, and I've got some other stuff for I'm not through. Coming back with a little bit more after our demo, but yeah, well, let's cut and let's, let's see this thing in action. All right, let's rock and roll. Austin, um, my screen? Yeah, you're welcome to use yours. your screen. You can go ahead for it. Let's go here. Uh, pop in. We will be showing the uh, the recipe that we made, and I want to say thank you, John. Um, it's been a real blast uh, working with you over the past few months um, on creating these templates and these recipes inside of Jasper. Um, but this is what you've got, guys. This is what Austin was telling you about at the beginning of the training. Um, even inside of your starter plan in Jasper, you now have access to this mini VSL um, video sales letter uh, template. Um, and so we're going to demo you how to create a VSL around a product that um, that Austin's involved with um, and kind of get that information out um, into Jasper and use it to create a one minute to 90 second uh, VSL. Um, and then we'll also use that recipe that you just saw there um, to help you brainstorm even more ways that you can create more variations of this VSL um, for your business as a marketer. So Austin, we use the same example as last time. 
Yeah. So um, for today's example, we're going to use my fiance's uh, matcha brand called Shade. And so uh, we're going to work with John here on it live. And mm -hmm. uh, there are certain points when uh, explaining these fields uh, might be helpful. So work with us alongside here, but uh, let's go ahead and start filling it out. So uh, her first name is Paige. Right. Company name is Shade Matcha. And the ideal buyer here is people who drink coffee or energy drinks. Okay. If I can throw out something here. Now, yeah. this can be one part of an attention frame. And this is branding. I cover branding in, in, the, uh, in the problems and in solutions. But you can actually brand your avatar. And you can call these people coffee lovers, for example. You can just say, dear coffee lover. So you, when you say coffee lover, you automatically create a rapport as opposed to, you know, dear person who drinks coffee. And I know that's not what Jasper would write, but, but you, if you create a, a name for that, that's, that's awesome. Um, I, I forget the one that, uh, Dave Asprey uses, but it's something dealing with, with beans, <laughs> it was something about, about beans, but you can come up with something really fun and clever here and put that in there. But, you know, simple, simply like coffee lovers or bean freaks. Yeah. Bean freak. That's a great one. Uh, that's a really great way to get a brand. So there you go. Brilliant. Yeah. So Jasper can even reference this uh, as coffee lovers or hey, bean freaks, mm -hmm. <laughs> something like that. I really love that. Um, okay. Cool. So a list of some key benefits and features. And, and this is really to have Jasper understand context of your business. We open this up to 800 characters so that you can put some good information there that's unique to your company, your story, um, you know, any, any, uh, unique differentiators about your product. So, uh, Darby, we're going to put, uh, you know, matcha gives you lasting energy and focus, clarity of your skin, anti-aging properties, improved mood, energy without the crash, no caffeine jitters, it's full of antioxidants. Okay, so I've, I've named it here a lot of benefits. Let's talk about some features now too. It's organic, organic green tea matcha, ceremonial grade, from a 400-year-old farm in Japan or ancient farm in Japan. Um, great. I think that's enough for now just to continue on. Uh, now let's talk about some current pains or negative circumstances that the customer is facing right now. And so mm -hmm. for, uh, matcha, maybe if you, before you start drinking matcha, you're facing gut issues, anxiety after drinking caffeine, midday crashes. Uh, caffeine jitters and sleepless nights. Guys, just to notice that you don't have to write out full sentences for, for these. You just need to give Jasper the right context. And then also taking that into account, you've only used for this key features and benefits, 232 characters out of 800. So you have a lot of room to expand on these sections as you keep dialing in these inputs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and one thing we want to talk about here, uh, Austin, is gut issues, anxiety from caffeine, et cetera. What we do, like for the, this is the, this is the one big problem, right? So to build your one big problem, we would take all these, all these different uh, uh, problems that they're having. And can we put that under a term? Is there something causing that, something triggering that? And one thing that you may want to look at is these things all have something to do with the hormone cortisol. So, mm. you know, we can look at, you know, uh, this, the, we could call this cortisol blank. And so thinking of this is, this is where I would start with going into the process of what I do with this, uh, with how to create hooks. And we would create a hook for this. This is a great place to create like the cortisol curse, 
might be something Ooh. we use here, the cortisol curse. So I like that. Right. So there you go, that you're at your 80 characters. So yeah, now Jasper could take this and no one's talked about cortisol curse, at least no one that, no one that we know of right now. You're going to be the only one talking about it. And this solution will be the only solution to it. So that makes it. So Dang. I'm giving away That's good. one of the frames for sure. <laughs> so one of the components <laughs> of the frames. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I mean, what a differentiator. Everybody else is talking about, hey, you know, do you have gut issues? Do you have midday crash? Do you have sleepless nights? Mm -hmm. No, we're going to be the only ones in the market talking about the cortisol curse. Mm -hmm. Now, you might feel symptoms of the cortisol curse if you have jitters, sleepless nights, et cetera. Yeah. Wow. And people might be wondering, well, what, you know, how did you do that? And in, in when we originally did this live and, and I'm like, well, I, I did because I the, the training I have in my head. And so I, you can be trained to do this and it's kind of, there's, there's some cheating tools you can use too. So. I love that. Wow. Um, brilliant. So, okay. And that's like a branded packaged version of all these negative circumstances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I went out on the internet and just found uh, a random scary fact. Uh, you know, I think having some third-party credibility here as well, like citing your source could even help. Uh, mm -hmm. But so one is 65% of people feel anxiety after consuming energy drinks. Um, and this is just one example. I might, you know, I did this kind of off the fly here before the call, but uh, I might go and look for a whole bunch of negative scary facts and find the one that more encompasses the full scope of, of what we're helping, not just energy drinks, but like coffee lovers as well. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Um, so what's the big idea in two to three words? Mm -hmm. What uh, creates your hook um, for your product that makes it different? And uh, this important differentiation that John helped us with, uh, if you remember from his training here, is that you don't mention your product yet. So I'm not going to be here mentioning matcha. Uh, I'm going to be talking about plant-based productivity, and that's something that we can own. Nobody else in the market is talking about plant-based productivity, but it does lead to saying that it ends up like, hey, you're going to be awake, and uh, you're going to uh, – it's natural, and it, it's a natural form. It's not from an energy, sugary drink. Um yeah. So, and I know John, you have a huge background in uh, nutrition and fitness. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, there's there's a lot more that can maybe be encompassed there uh, of how you could brand it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a great brand. It's very good. Um, cool. So, social proof. Uh, you know, we help maybe call it thirty thousand. Uh, you know, people. And then our niche is a more narrow focused of our target audience. So maybe it's like caffeine or caffeine drinks out of all of like uh, everything in the supplement space or everything in the mm. drinkable uh, consumable space. It's we're narrowed in on caffeine drinks. Mm. Is mm -hmm. that accurate, John? Is you how you yeah. describe it? Yeah. So, so your niche is the shortest possible description of your market that you're in. So for example, if I'm selling a diet book, it's just weight loss would be or it would be pretty straightforward or nutrition. So you want to keep this pretty short. Caffeine drinks is perfect. It's two word. It's 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 uh I wouldn't necessarily capitalize them like that. I don't know if Jarvis or Jasper rather um decapitalizes things when you want to, but like you would say, when it comes to caffeine drinks, I'm an expert. So you can figure out your niche mm -hmm. by, by, by addressing that question. Now we call it, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, when it comes to blank, some people consider me an expert. So when it comes to caffeine drinks, some people, mm. that would be true mm. of, of your fiance. So brilliant. I love that. Cool. Okay. So what's their initial goal? Uh, you know, you're looking for your caffeine source. You're trying to get awake <laughs> at the beginning of the day, you're trying to have lasting energy throughout the day. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. There is lasting energy and a feeling of awakeness. Now by getting that ultimately like what happens, uh, alertness. alertness, awakeness. Yeah. yeah okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Get awake in the morning, alert throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but then ultimately what they're getting from that uh, alertness and lasting energy is they're able to be productive at work, uh, show up as a leader in the team meeting. Uh, they're able to have energy when they get home to play with their kids. Uh, they're able to have a great workout. 
anything else that you all would add mm-hmm. to the ultimate goal of drinking green tea matcha? Well, here's the thing. Uh, let me just talk about this real quickly. The ultimate goal is what I call actually secondary goals. Um, the initial goal is what I call a primary goal. So the initial goal is lasting energy. The, that's the goal of drinking. So I, I need more energy. I need to feel alert. But what happens when you start feeling alert is what I call secondary goals. I'm more productive. I show up as a leader. So these are the things, the bullet points that would sell something in a VSL or a sales page or an email even that would make people go, hey, if you want to show up as a leader, if you want more energy to play with your kids, if you want to be more productive, then you're going to need lasting energy. You see how that works? It's very, it's a very simple formula and that's how we think through it. So mm. that's how the now VSL platform thinks through it. So yeah, mm. brilliant. Okay. Um, and would you right. focus on multiple of these or just one? Oh, multiple. Yeah. Secondary goals are many. Uh, primary goals are one or two. Okay. So that's okay. perfect. Cool. Cool. Um, how is the product delivered? And, and as a reminder here, that the mini VSL is going to be used on your social channels and on your ads. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're only 60 to 90 seconds long. So it's here to capture qualified attention and then bring them to your, mm-hmm. your website uh, or somewhere else to sell them. Um, and it's really to capture leads um, and, and really early stage, uh, like in the funnel uh, tripwire or something like that not your like big gigantic offer. I don't know what would be the right price points Mm -hmm. that you would use a mini VSL, John, or what would you be sending them to? Oh, you'd want to send them to a free offer for sure. And, you know, again, coming from the nutrition space, that I, I, that's how I started. That's how I started as a nutritionist and wrote in the fitness and nutrition space. I can tell you for a fact, I know a, a lot about these buyers and a lot about what they love and they love recipes they love recipe books so if you had some sort of like uh i'll say you pick up my free uh you know like um like matcha recipe book download it over here that's just going to drive people over there like crazy because that again this is all part of knowing your avatar of having done the avatar research before you're typing in here so i happen to have done it because i've written in that space for 15 years but but i can guarantee you i know that they they love recipes so I would do something like that. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Um, so this is not your actual product yet. Like I wouldn't send them to go buy the green mm-hmm. tea um, on the product page. It would be something before you that can. to collect the lead. Yeah, you, you could run this as an ad. 69 seconds works really well as an ad. YouTube ad, Facebook and media, uh, in, in display ad, et cetera. But so if you, if you want to, you can go, oh, go find out more about the tea here. But I want to get those leads, especially again, I want to get the ideal buyer. So if I know my ideal buyer is the one that's trading recipes, then I'm putting in a recipe guide. Mm. Would again, this work for the research. in SaaS? Do you think that, um, you know, it should go to like a webinar or should it go to a free trial? Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Both of those if would work? If it's SaaS, if you have a free trial. Yeah, sorry about it. Oh, sorry, I was gonna, if it's SaaS, if you have a free trial, it's perfect. We're actually coming out with one for Copy Pro, uh, but uh, if if you don't, we send them to a workshop. We send them to a webinar. So, yeah, that's the best way to. Again, you're you're just wanting to, you're wanting to get something to liquidate your traffic. Now, the other thing that you can do is send to a very low dollar offer. So these can be used for what's called tripwires. So you get a tripwire of seven dollars, for example. So you know, pick up my free cheat sheets on copywriting for seven dollars or seventeen dollars. Then you can use a short VSL for that. Usually they're about two or three minutes long. A little little bit longer than this, but that's probably what Jasper is going to output if the more data that you put in there. So bear in mind, you can sell things with these, <laughs> but uh, I would either send them to a cheap offer, very inexpensive, or I'd send them to a free offer. Okay, cool. Well, let's go with like a, a matcha recipe book then for this example. Mm-hmm. And then the product name, uh, this is like shade uh, matcha green tea, shade uh, ceremonial matcha. Mm -hmm. And then the product price. Well, you know, this is, uh, I guess we're talking about the recipe book. So instead of our product name, we probably want to put the name of that recipe book. Is that right, John? Yeah. I put the name of the recipe book there for sure. Ceremonial green tea recipe book. Sure. 
Yeah, let's, we, we don't want to overthink that. Just the recipe guide or recipe book. Yeah, it's, it's I say, we say guide. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to overthink it a little bit. It's the copywriter in me coming out. Book, when you hear the word book, don't you kind of think school? And you mm -hmm. hear the word guide, you think something simplistic or cheat sheet or, you know, like, a, you know, we, we say this. So guide, guide just seems a little easier. It's a little done for you. Yeah, I like that. Cool. So uh, it's free. But if we were going to uh, put in like a free trial here, John, would you recommend doing like, hey, it starts at $29 a month, but you're going to get a free trial here? Um, you can do both. Uh, so it depends on the, there's some laws and regulations around that. Sometimes if you, if it's just free, it can be just free. Um, if it's, if it's like Slack, for example, Slack is free, you, you can get it. So I don't know if their ads, ads say, oh, if you want to go to Slack enterprise, it's X amount of, but, uh, so it depends on how your, your business is structured, but I would just put free unless, unless legally compelled to do otherwise. Okay. As, and by the way, it's, if, it's, if it's a time trial, like a free 30 day trial, then you got nothing more to say. That's, that's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then tone of voice. This is a little lesson for everybody that is newer into the ja Jasper ecosystem. Uh, here's where you can have a lot of fun with uh, the outputs. Uh, you, you could change the tone of voice and leave everything else the same, and it'll actually produce a pretty dramatic output. Uh, today, we're going to use the tones of voices of natural, organic, excited, and informational. You can stack these tones of voices. Uh, if you are, so put like your brand core values here, you can also, uh, do some impressions. So like, let's say you wanted, uh, if your brand was humor, like you could put Jerry Seinfeld in there. Uh, if you, if your brand is more like loud marketing, you could literally put Gary Vaynerchuk and since it's read all of his tweets and blog posts and things like that, it knows, and, and even uh, transcriptions on YouTube, it knows his tone of voice. So things like that, very exciting. Also, our um, language is English, but we do work in 26 languages. Now, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and uh, generate three outputs. Jasper will not produce the same output. Um, it will always have variation. And... What it's doing right now is since it's read the internet, it knows all about these different, um, it knows about matcha. It's read about matcha before. It'll probably even pull in some research about matcha that we didn't even supply. It's now also reading examples. John has trained it on from real world examples that uh, have produced millions of dollars in sales revenue. And it's also following a framework uh, of the order in which to produce these things and some logic there on, on how to apply it into a script. Um, and so, and then it's also reading everything you've at, uh, given it as the user. So all of that together, now this AI has spit out original creative for you to read on screen. Let's go ahead and take a look. What if I told you there's a better way? sustained energy and focus without the jitters anxiety or midday crash this is good so um what i tend to find here is that professional copywriters like john will take this as a research tool they'll put it into a document and then they will adapt it as they feel they need to they might even actually run this a few times and then pull in sections uh, like cherry picking them, uh, and then end up, you know, building their own script and they might have their own flavor. Um, some of these follow the exact formula a little bit better than others do. <laughs> so this is not an ad lib. This is actually creating it from scratch. Darby, you like this one? I like the second one. <laughs> Yeah, this you ever feel like in an IV of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm curious where where it's going to put in some of our unique mechanisms. So, uh, the oh, it says that the unique mechanism is <laughs> that's pretty fun. So, yeah, as a copywriter, I would take that out. So, so how does it work? It, you know, it's called plant based productivity, right? But if that's all you have to do to edit the script, hmm. you're you're doing really well. You're doing really really well. So, yeah. Oh, I have a free recipe guide with my favorite. That's great to get you started. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. 
Yeah. So here, uh, you know, the goal is to get you at 80% of the way there in a few clicks of a button. Uh, John, how long do you think it would take, you know, an average person to do this from scratch? Oh, from scratch. I mean, they, well, first of all, the average person, uh, they, they couldn't do it without, without the training. And now, now we're taking away, like, how do I get the hooks and attention frames and all that stuff, but just to write the copy to where it's even remotely compelling, it would take them most people hours. So, I mean, and that's if they can do it. So that's, yeah. this is a, this is where these mm -hmm. tools are very, very handy. Certainly. I love it. Yeah. So, uh, if you're able to spot here some of those attention frameworks that John has taught, uh, let us know. Look through these uh, pieces of copy, and, and as you generate your own, see if you can spot uh, what we've trained it on. Now, you might get stuck yep. in some of these questions as you're thinking about your own business. Uh, you know, I, I had the ability to think about these things before today's training. And so we were able to blaze through them. Uh, but let's say that, you know, you are here, you're going to dedicate a couple hours to, uh, you know, customer research that you've already done and pull that data. Um, and, and then also let's say you want to have Jasper brainstorm for you. I mean, what if you had an assistant that literally read the whole internet and can just pull out ideas mm -hmm. in the snap of a finger. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the king of recipes, Darby, and the AI author team have put together a recipe. And that's where uh, you can take kind of templates to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, yes, this is an advanced way to use the tool. Uh, you'll need boss mode to use a recipe. But uh, Darby, why don't we hop into your recipe and show how to generate ideas for your VSL? Let's do it. So... Coming from there, this is the template version of this recipe. This recipe is really designed to be the brainstorming tool to help you fill out um, what you need to inside of that template. So when you get this recipe, you're just going to go ahead and click run, and it's going to pop it open inside of your boss mode account. Now, what you want to do first and foremost with this recipe, and really with any recipe, is start with um, filling out things inside of like the content brief over here onto the side. And so just to give Jasper a little bit of an edge um, as to like, where are we going with this? Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to kind of start based on the information that we've already done, Austin, and feel free to, you know, to pop in if, if I need to add anything or go over. I'll just say like, this is a an offer for ceremonial green tea matcha from Shade Matcha. Um, you know, say helps provide lasting energy without the jitters. Um, what are some other things, uh, some of the other negatives um, that it does, Austin? Yeah, uh, midday crash, uh, sleepless yeah. nights. Yes, sleepless nights. Um, you know, easy to use powder. Um, we just pull like a couple more little bits over here from what we've got like antioxidants, lasting energy, um, lower cortisol levels, levels, and let's just say that's about all you've got. You're 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 not really sure where, where you're at. Maybe you're stuck a little bit, and and you're saying like, okay, like I, I need some help filling out the rest of this content um, that I want to put inside of this template. So. Um, what we've done is basically taken all of those inputs on the template side, and we've got them set up here as as variables that would essentially would want to fill out. So time, for example, 60 to 90 second BSL, maybe you put 75 here for average. Avatar, you know, people who drink energy drinks, your company name. So the stuff that's kind of off the top of your head that you're going to want to provide Jasper um, initially, but this is where you can kind of have fun with running these commands and seeing what Jasper can kind of help you come up with. So what I'm going to do is just kind of start from the top down and show you a little bit using the command, uh, command shift enter, which is going to tell Jasper, hey, what's the topic of this conversation? Um, now, bear in mind, this says maybe not going to answer it directly every single time. So let's go ahead and, and see if we can get it moving along the way topic of conversation. So that time I just did command J for compose. It's just telling me this is what it's about, helps people provide it. Basically what we told Jasper up here um, at the beginning of it. 
right? What's your name? So you would just want to fill this in um, as page, right? Shade matcha and and these these little carrots here do signify Jasper commands, but also if you know the answer and it's obvious, just put that in yourself. Um, you know, it's kind of you're still you're still steering the ship here um, as it goes down to it. And so um, as we're kind of let me see, like what was it? What are we put? Energy lover, uh, people who drink energy drinks. I'm just going to add that in here. Audience, people who drink energy or coffee drinks. And and go ahead and see if Jasper's gonna. And so, kind of while we're doing this, we're getting the creative juices flowing, like getting some inspiration for maybe some ways I could use this for marketing copy. Even beyond this, um, it's being very literal here with that that second command. I just went and reran it again, um, because again, Jasper's taking this as to like the context to help it steer and drive its focus, but. Um, some of these commands you'll notice start to get a little bit more detailed, right? List out your key features and benefits of the product. And so this command, um, funny enough, actually is pulling from a template inside of your Jasper account called like the standard, um, I think it's like the standard benefits, emotional benefits, features to benefits, um, very similar structured, we'll say. Um, it's actually talking about um, mirror selfies. So say, Jasper, we're not talking about selfies and teeth whitening here. Let's go ahead and rerun it again. Um, but there we go. The second go round, easy to use powder, lower cortisol. You know, how do you, how you do it? Delight you with good support. Like, oh, that actually might be something that's really powerful um, to add in. Well, and it's funny because you didn't mention compose. there, you didn't mention at all about so far teeth whitening. Uh, it's certainly mm -hmm. a benefit of matcha over coffee. We all know coffee stains your teeth. And matcha doesn't. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, it's literally using research that it knows from the internet and the buyer persona and things that people want. Um, talking about cortisol levels. I mean, this is an amazing research function that we have right now. And, and this is where recipes outdo um, templates is because templates, you kind of have to bring the research to Jasper. And it's going to reference the context. Here, you're actually inquiring Jasper to do the research for you. You know, I had I didn't even cross my mind that that would be a benefit of using matcha versus the teeth whitening. I thought it was pulling, going off on a dental, dental route or teeth whitening strips. But no, I, that's, yeah, I never would have thought about that. I'm glad you pulled, called that out. That's a really interesting, um, you know, point in how Jasper thinks. Um, so... Moving on down um, a little bit more, we've got a few more commands that we can test out and run here. Um, these ones being talking about like what are the negative, um, the negative, the current pain of the negative circumstances um, that that people are experiencing like right now um, with the product, right? Talking about the jitters, the midday crash, and the sleepless nights. Um, and and I just ran this command again, right? Command shift enter, and, and Jasper's actually pulling now from the classic problem agitate solution um, negative thing. And so it's it's hard to find time for yourself in today's busy world, work, family, social obligations, never have a moment for yourself. Shade, matcha can help. Perfect people are looking for an easy way to get lasting energy, more convenient powder, take shade wherever you want to go. Mm. Kind of a cool angle to address that, hey, you're always busy, it's a negative circumstance, can't find time for yourself, shade's there with you. Um, that's cool. So, you know, again, you can keep running these commands as often as you want. And you can do it three times, you can do it 30 times. It's really up to you. Um, and again, like the scary facts, like if this is going to be a fact, then you're going to want to, you know, make sure you're double checking this with making sure it's real. But hey, energy drinks could be addictive and have negative side effects, right? Like a negative fact about these energy drinks is like the addictive nature that they do, negative things on your health rise in cortisol levels may be harmful to your body, right? So again, just kind of like rapid brainstorming. What are some of the ways, um, you know, that this, this tea can weight gain fatigue. See, that's a word I hadn't seen come up through here, a weakened immune system, right? And so as you're seeing these keywords come up, you might just want to bold them to come back and pull them out of this copy as we continue to kind of brainstorm. Um, and with this, I want to be... Uh you know, up front that Jasper is not here quoting anybody. Uh, it has read the whole internet, but the way Jasper works is it's, it's going to go and uh, create every 
word that you see on the screen, it's creating it word by word, not sentence by sentence, not paragraph by paragraph. So every word is unique. And you can run the plagiarism checker up in the corner to confirm that it's not citing any sources. Um, with that said, it does not always uh, write factually perfect. So we see here, once it said lower cholesterol levels, uh, earlier it said increased cholesterol levels. Mm -hmm. So this is where like for fact in this instance, you would want to go and, um, and, and use a third party source. But this is great here still for brainstorming ideas for facts uh, to go out and, yeah. and do your further research. Yeah. And just a quick tip for you guys, as you are brainstorming here, like you said, Austin, that Jasper is going word by word. If you say, I wonder what Jasper would say if it was weight gain, but I put a couple spaces here and I said, okay, let's go ahead and see what you see after that. Now it's anxiety and depression. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Jasper, go finish that sentence for me again. Fantigue, anxiety, right? And so you can split these paragraphs up as you're using it and get creative with it and lead it and give it different prompts. And you'll see that Jasper might go one way once, another way another time. And ultimately, again, more, more stuff for you to work in, inside of your VSL. Um, now, the big idea, again, I think this is probably the, the one that Jasper is going to have the hardest, hardest one with. Um, here, I mean, we came up with plant-based productivity, or you did, Austin, you know, after obviously being you know, a part of, you know, what's going on at Shade um, in that bit. So um, I wouldn't rely too heavily on Jasper um, for, for coming up with this big, big aha idea. I'd really, really stress, and I think you would as well, John, that this is where, you know, the human, you know, the, the person here, the research and everything that's going into this and understanding your people, yeah. you feed that into Jasper, then Jasper is going to be able to pick that up and like take off with it there. But, you know, I just haven't had much luck having it come up with the Yeah. When it comes to the myself. niche, this is an interesting one. I was actually talking with an agency owner and they onboarded a new client. It was a window tinting company in Los Angeles. Now, this is a professional marketing agency. They do good stuff. They were brainstorming on audiences to test with their Facebook ads. Uh, the go-to thought process was we're going to target uh, uh, people in the spotlight, uh, people that are, you know, famous Instagram, TikTok, famous, whatever in LA. And we're going to say, Hey, tint your windows to make, you know, you look cooler or to like, you know, block out the paparazzi, etc." And I think like, we all know LA, like that is definitely a market out there that will be interested in window tinting. Yeah. They then use Jasper to generate research and new ideas who might want to buy window tinting, uh, for their car. And Jasper produced something that none of them in the room thought of, even though these are professional marketers. It said, hey, moms, protect your kids from the hot California sun rays. Tent your suburban's windows to add UV protection to prevent your kids from getting sunburned. And oh my gosh, that ad campaign crushed it. Uh, uh, ended up being a, a huge driver because it turns out uh, moms are more willing to protect their kids than TikTokers are willing to look cool. And so <laughs> it, it's Go just, just awesome, um, you know, as a brainstorming tool for within agencies mm -hmm. to use this. Yeah. And while you said that, Austin, I'm just going to see if Jasper will pick up on something like that. Because if you get creative with these commands, you know, you'll run into a way that you word something that Jasper gets it. And it will help you brainstorm a little bit um, with that. And so, you know, I think at the end of the day, when it comes down to recipes is, is they give you the ability to create all these different types of commands and these different, um, you know, these different ways to brainstorm, but it also gives you the ability to really steer the ship and, and dig in and test around commands and tweak commands and see if Jasper will do this or if it won't do that. And you might be pleasantly sur surprised with uh, some of the stuff that can come up just by asking Jasper to say it in a slightly different way. So where we have now in the training um, is we have created, generated a video sales letter, a mini one that you'll use on social. Uh, Darby, can you go back to the template? Mm -hmm. So what do we do with this thing once it's generated? Let's go through really quickly um, uh, a workflow. Can you go ahead and whichever one that you personally like the most, open it in documents. 
this one. Yep. So you can save that for later and then open in documents. Uh, here you'll be able to, let's say you don't like that second line. Um, go ahead and highlight it. And then up at the top, do rephrase. As an example here, you can have Jasper put it in, you know, spin the words in a different way using synonyms, make it different. Uh, we're going to not take that one. I like the first one more. Now what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, how about that matcha as a ceremonial green powder from 400-year-old farm? Mm -hmm. Highlight that. Let's explain it to a fifth grader. So we know that uh, complicated words confuse the brain and, and reduce buying. Uh, so we want to make things simpler to read in the fifth grade reading level is the highest converting reading level. So that's why we included that feature here within Jasper. You can dumb down. So even the L-theanine with the amino acids down below, that's a pretty complicated, mm -hmm. you know, scientific, you know, way to go about explaining something with the unique mechanism there, right? Like maybe that's something that we want to explain to a fifth grader. Let's see how that works. We can uh, run that again, even do the blue button. Mm -hmm. And so run it a few times, figure out which way you like the most. Yeah. Now it's yeah. simpler. It's better. Mm -hmm. Green tea. Yeah. It actually pulled in the cortisol the inf information too. Yeah. So mm, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. Cortisol, crash, cortisol crash. curse if you wanted to change curse, that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And you would then, you know, capitalize it, maybe even put quotes around it as like, right. you know, what other people are saying. Right. Cool. Um, also, Darby, you would probably chop this up into something that's more readable, right? As mm -hmm. a script that we would then put into the next part of this workflow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, 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 I like to do no more than 15 words on a slide and definitely no more than one sentence on a slide. So I usually break up sentences in the middle. So um, mm -hmm. it's not, not a problem to break up a sentence right in the middle of something because you just don't want too many words on a slide. Absolutely. All right. So from here, um, you know, there's a few things that we need to do. We need to add slides. Uh, John, what's the easiest way to put a script and then create a slide deck for a VSL? Well, I've actually got that in my training. So I've got that coming up here in the training. So, okay. Okay, great. Well, maybe we should pass it on to you on what to do uh, next in this workflow. Uh, yeah, it's, it's later. It's, it's, uh, it's toward the end of the training. So how do you want me to do You want me just to, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll jump to that in a second. Uh, yeah. there's also, um, is that when you talk about like Fiverr and things mm -hmm. like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Then, uh, I guess we'll continue on with the training here and allow, uh, John to enter back on the stage. Um, you can share your screen, but yeah. So now that you have your generated VSL within Jasper, uh, there's ways that you use it strategically and, um, you know, how can you get this up and going in a campaign to drive qualified leads for your business? So uh, let's continue on. Well, let's start if we can. I'm going to just make sure we get over here to the demo here, um, or uh, the slides rather, and can make sure we can see the slides okay? Well, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about what you do with this now. I mean, so it's it's one thing to have a mini VSL. It's another thing to be able to do something with it. Now, later on in the training, I'm going to go over some quick tips on putting your mini VSL together. And you can do this for very low cost if you wanted to outsource it all by yourself, all to yourself, or you can do it by yourself. A lot of this is D, you know, DIY, just do it yourself. And it's not that difficult to do. But the question is, is where do you send these people to? Well, let's say you send it to an opt-in page or you send it to a free offer. Where do they go after that? And that's where we want to talk more seriously because in reality, you're going to want to send them to a longer form BSL. Now, that's not something that can be popped out by most software tools in the world today. And that's something that is not going to be, it's going to require all nine of those attention frames. So let's talk about this a little bit further. Now, this is my life's work, both copywriting and creating and teaching sales tactics. That's what I've done for throughout my career, companies all over the world. But there's only so much I can fit into an hour and a half of training with you, uh, even as much as I want to give you. I just can't get as much as I need to, to get you to where you need to be. So let's talk more about your immediate needs. And that should sound familiar <laughs> after what we talked about today, because clearly you should know by now 
at least at some point that you need to have a VSL of some kind, whether that's a mini VSL to drive leads or a long form VSL to drive sales. And you should apply this framework to whatever medium that you're using in video. It's going to help it convert better. Now, video marketing is not an option today. Even if you have a text-based sales page, having a video on top of it can often increase conversion significantly, just like you saw my friend Perry have a video on top of a written sales page. And you need more training than I can deliver in an hour, an hour and a half to show you exactly how to build out an attention framework. So I want to invite you to this if you're interested, because there's a way that you can get the same value that a lot of those A-list pros that you saw earlier get from me for substantially less money. And I think that's pretty cool. I'm inviting you to uh, something called the Attention Framework VSL Masterclass. And what's really cool is this is going to be taught live. It's going to be taught live by both me and the guys over at AI Author. So this is a pretty cool thing. I am delivering this live. I've never delivered the entire class before. I've only delivered snippets of it before. And so you're going to get to see this live, ask questions live, interact with this live over six days of training. That's not six full days, so don't freak out. But it's going to be pretty freaking awesome. Classes are going to be hosted by myself and the AI author guys, August 16th to 18th and August 23rd to 25th, six days of live coaching. Now, just so you know, it's about two hours a day and you don't have to attend every single session. You can certainly attend every single session. We'd love to have you. You don't have to because we're going to be recording them. Just know that you're the only ones that's going to be getting them for a long time to come. So say yes right now if you realize that this is, this is not pre-recorded. Okay. As of today, you're buying a discounted spot to the live training with me and the AI author. Now I'll drip out a few bonuses along the way because I'm a nice guy and I want to get you started under to understanding VSL psychology. So that's one of the bonuses you're going to get immediately when you order today, but the training itself is delivered live. And I think it's going to be much more valuable to you. Now, here's what you're going to receive live inside the masterclass. The very first thing we're going to go over is called the avatar's diary. Remember when I said I write like a little diary of my avatar? Well, I think this is the next best thing to mind reading. I mean, you're going to feel, they're going to feel as if you are reading their minds so that you've known them all their lives. If you do this right, if you put the time into the avatar's diary and the research tools that we'll show you, you can combine that with Jasper, but there are some places that I want to show you to go. That's not intuitive to any software, to any way of thinking that I I know will help you understand the exact language of your ideal buyer. And then you plug that into Jasper or that into now VSL, which I'll talk about in a moment. And boy, are the results amazing. This is going to do that for you. The research will be covered. And then I'm going to give you my patented hook system. Now, remember the in in now stands for notice. You need to be noticed within the first seven seconds. And remember, we talked about a pattern interrupt. Well, there's 10 that I use. I'm going to teach you all 10, but more than that, I'm going to teach you how to create a hook. Those hooks, those big ideas that Austin was just talking about, that Darby was just talking about. You need to know how to do this. Now, you don't need to be some creative genius to do this. I actually have a formula, a system that I've taught to everyone from admins to secretaries to, to business owners to copywriters on how to create a hook and a big idea. You're going to get this training, and in a matter of days, you will have hooks and big ideas numerous ones for your, your products, your services that you can test inside mini VSLs, long form VSLs, and more. Of course, you're going to get the attention framework insider training. You're going to get that along with uh, Darby and I, and that's going to be delivered to you live. And that's going to cover the five highest converting pattern interrupts, how to quickly and inexpensively create and test them. I'm going to show you the top five, my top five, then the VSL in disguise. Now, this is really cool. This is going to change the way that you present a VSL. And it can increase sales and conversions almost overnight. And it's not overnight, but it's almost overnight because it is not quite the VSL. It doesn't look quite like one. It's a little bit different. And these are pulling in some serious money right now. I want to show you what they are. We're going to talk about subtle ways of speaking with your ideal buyer rather than at your ideal buyer. Now, listen, this is so important for creating a state of rapport without sounding too salesy. Now, you need to be sales. You need to, you need to be focused on sales. You need to be strong at sales. I believe in strong pitching, but you don't need to be overtly salesy. You need to speak with somebody, not at somebody. Now, companies are very, very guilty sometimes of speaking at people, going on and on about mission statements and values and things like that, rather than having a conversation. 
So if I can teach you subtle little ways to use language, to open loops, to have conversations, to make people feel more intrigued and more welcome, that's going to help whatever script that you produce in Jasper, whatever script you produce in now, whichever tool you want to use, it's going to make it so much better. We're going to show you where to use your hook and how to position it as the one answer to your prospects problems. So this is going to separate you entirely from your competition, how to position your wants and needs into a way that guides someone into a more rapid buying decision. Now, this is going to create a win-win feeling, not a win-lose, not a I have to. It's going to compel somebody to buy something because it's going to work on their core values. All you're going to do is align your offer ethically with somebody's core values and the people that have those innate core values are going to res resonate much more thoroughly with it and they're going to say yes much more readily i want to teach you how to create the perfect call to action how to get people to actually click the button and follow through and how to finally nail your price point because again most people are too low they're selling things that are too, at a price point that's too low so we're going to test it sometimes it's too high sometimes a lot of times it's too low find the perfect price point and much much more then tonight right here as you get this live, I'm going to give you the five-step VSL formula. Now, there is a caveat to this. I'm going to cover the caveat in just a moment. There's a catch, okay? <laughs> it's a simple catch though, trust me. But I want to give you the five-step VSL formula for creating a long-form VSL, meaning you can create a long 60-minute sales video, or you can use it as a webinar if you would like. My formula for doing that, and Darby will testify to this, it is it is really intense and it's done over a billion dollars with a B. That's no lie, a billion dollars in sales for my clients over the past seven years. So I think you'll profit from this immensely. You'll get all the video training and you can start going through that immediately to get you ready for this masterclass. And this is how I'm going to give you results in 21 days. The coaching, the software you're about to see, I'm going to help you implement it fast. And we're going to be there right there with you all the way. 21 days. Now, if you desire to expand your list with leads that are far more likely to buy it for you, because again, you're speaking their buying language, then I believe this is for you. Or if you just want a VSL that delivers you constant and predictable sales with more revenue and leads. Predictability is so important in today's marketing world. Wouldn't you agree? To be more predictable. Well, that's what I want to help you do. If you want to position yourself as the modest expert in your industry, so that you not only stand out, but people resonate with you. They are, they feel related to you. They feel like they're, you're relatable. If you crave a tribe of dedicated followers, fans, rather than just customers, that's what ideal buyers are. They create a tribe, a family, a community. You can create that with simple words. Desire predictability in your business and income, then this is definitely for you. Even if you're a veteran marketer and you've written dozens of VSLs, maybe you've never written a VSL before, it does not matter. The formula will walk you through it. The Attention Framework Masterclass will help you hone it to a T. Now, Ben Bodinger said this is his first VSL, made 14X on his traffic spin in two days, going through my five-step VSL formula. That's an awesome return. Now, that's, that's not average. Most people don't do 14X, but this is what's possible, which is really cool. Josh said in less than a weekend, he created a VSL and he ended up launching a $15 million business. I witnessed that myself. I saw that from birth on and it's been incredible to watch. Perry Marshall, with one of the great cold traffic legends in the world of Google traffic, he said he never sits down to watch training and he doesn't, <laughs> uh, but he found this something that he had to watch because of the ninja, ninja psychology. And that's training that you can start watching tonight. You don't have to wait for the live classes for that. And I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Justin Burns is a product marketer and he just used one of these tricks, one of these tricks. Now it's a long one. It took him about four hours to get down into his webinar. Okay. So it's all webinars are long, right? So this is not something you do in four minutes. I'm not going to lie to you. It took about four hours for him to tweak all these little bits. It's one big thing that he changed but it netted him over $800,000 in the process. Do you think it was worth it? <laughs> I think it was worth it. So what is the investment in this attention framework VSL masterclass that you get to attend live? Well, our retail price was set at $49.99, which is really inexpensive for what we're delivering. I mean, we're delivering a framework to create high converting VSLs, whether they're mini VSLs, long form VSLs, or anything in between. And it's just the hook system alone. I taught it to 20 marketers at $2,500 a piece. Just the hook system. That's just one component of this training that we're going to give to you live. Okay? That's one component. Now VSL, which I'm about to show you, talk, talk to you about rather, is $1,497 retail. So, I mean, just the retail investment alone 
is way higher. Than, it should be more than forty nine ninety nine to be honest with you. And I'm thirty thousand dollars a day to consult with, and five thousand an hour to consult with. I've been that way for eight years, so that should give you some context for what you're about to see. But I believe this is like hiring me for more than a day, just a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's the next closest thing to be able to do that because I am going to be there with you live, talking and answering questions to the group. And then we're going to have interaction that no one else who ever goes through this course is going to have. I mean, we have really crossed every T here, folks, and we're inviting you to experience it live. Now, our retail price, when I originally approached this with, to, to Darby and Austin said, well, how about 19.97 to do a deal for the guys at, at Jasper? Why don't we do a deal for the AI author guys? Well, that's great. And that would be a drop in the bucket. I think just the first course alone, the first part of the course alone on teaching you how to do research and build a hook, just that alone is worth infinitely more than 1997. But we decided to do something even sweeter because, hey, this is live and this is going to be done with you. We should charge more money for it, but there's always a chance that something could go wrong or I get a slide wrong or something like that. So we're going to knock off 500 bucks. If you take the one installment plan of 1497, if you go, I'll show you the URL in just a minute. If you go and I want you to enter the VSL, VSL AI discount code, be sure to take, write that down. VSL AI, that is the discount code. That's going to give you $500 off full price. So you can get it right now for 1497. This will lock you in to the training live and give you immediately some sweet bonuses that I'm about to cover, including that five-step VSL and more. Or you can pay full price at the six installment price of $333, but you miss out on the now VSL bonuses. Now, here's what I want you to do. Now, <laughs> go to theaiauthor.com forward slash go. That's theaiauthor.com forward slash go. That's not a public URL. Like if you went to my website, you would not see this URL. You won't even see Attention Framework Masterclass on my website. We decided to present it live for the very first time right here with you. So you are the first people to ever hear about this. And my list is second. They're going to hate this. <laughs> they're, they're, not, they're actually going to be a part of the training, but they're going to be second. So we did this first because the timing worked out. It's not a public URL. It's only found right here. Choose your installment plan. I would go with the one installment. It's going to save you a lot of money. And plus you get all the now VSL related bonuses with it. And we're going to send you your login credentials to the software and the training immediately today. And you reserve your seats for the live training in August, okay? So go to theaiauthor.com forward slash go. And remember to use the discount code, code VSLAI. So I want to, again, I want to help you expand your list with leads that are far more likely to buy from you. It's all about the buying language. I want to help you get a VSL that delivers constant predictable sales. I want to help you position yourself as a modest expert in your industry to create a tribe, a family a community. Those people will not only buy more from you, they will spread your name around so more people buy from you. It's the best. The ultimate buyer, the what I call the ideal buyer, is the best because they become a tribe. See predictability in your business and income and help you do this in 21 days or less, theaiauthor.com forward slash go. Now, I'm going to cover some bonuses before we get back to the Q&A here. Uh, I'm going to give you, a, first of all, a guarantee, first of all, so you can rest easy. I'm extending this promise to you for a full 30 days. If you don't see more revenue from anything using video, I don't care what it is, webinars, sales pages, isn't even text-based sales pages, just from the bonus training that I'm going to give you tonight. So forget the Attention Framework Masterclass live. That's going to blow the, lip, the roof off, okay? I'm talking about just the training you get immediately. From just this, you're going to see today. And if you're not absolutely thrilled with the training, the faculty training, as you're going to hear about in a moment, or absolutely anything at all, you just pay nothing because I don't want your money if I can't help you. You can keep the access to the training and the software you get today, no matter what. So there's a no lose sense here. There's no nonsense. There's no fine print. You are the one that holds all the cards just for any reason or no reason at all. If you're not jumping for joy over this, if you're not thrilled with it, I just refuse your money. It's that simple. Okay, so go to theaiauthor.com forward slash go. Just use the VSL, uh, the discount code VSLAI, and that will knock $500 off the full pay only. Okay, that's the only way you can get that $500 discount. And yes, this is going to help professional marketers and has. You got Rich Sheffern said he took my VSL formula, the one that you're going to get tonight, took it to Agora, 
and they made a billion dollars. <laughs> so I think it's pretty darn good. Um, Evan Pagan says he shared my tactics. I'm the best at the VSL persuasion market. Perry, you've already seen, works for VSL, worked for, with me for VSL Redos and the framework and ads that they're using. They're using the mini, mini VSLs as well, crushing it with this, with his other company as well. Helped uh, Joe Barton build a $70 million business. And one of my favorite testimonials is from the owner of Agora Publishing, because uh, he said, he came up to me in his in his own private cigar bar. It was really nice to have, to go over there and hang out with Mark. Hey, I owe you at least $100 million. I said, well, it's more like $150 million, but you know, send me a wire. That's great. So that's a great testimony to have. Now, I've had Ryan Dice, and we built some stuff together, built some training together on BSLs. As a matter of fact, this, is, of course, everybody knows these guys, Gary B, and everybody knows Ryan Lebeck and Joe Polish. Helped these guys over the years do a lot of things with BSLs. And in this picture, there's about 20 marketers, and there's another bus behind us of uh, some of the most famous guys in the world doing these VSLs. I'm at the front, it just happened to be there. But the point is, is that these guys got one small bit of the training that I'm giving you, and it blew the doors off of that conference. I won the presenter of the conference. All 40 voted for me. <laughs> so, well, probably some vote, some didn't, but most people did vote for me. And I that was just one little part of the hook system training that you're going to get. Pretty cool thing at Todd Brown. Uh, that's being rich over at the Cigar Bar and Mark Ford. And I, I'm showing you these pictures to say, hey, a lot of people say these testimonials. A lot of people show you images. Yeah, we're actually doing this for real, folks. We're doing this for real. And I think the really big news is the client list. Uh, I've known for a guy that has created helping average people off the street get more six, seven, eight, and even nine figure VSLs than anybody else in the business, period. And all these testimonials that you can read right now, right in front of you, will testify to that. And I could keep going through this all night long. But we have stuff to get to. So I want you to go to the aiauthor.com forward slash go because I want to give you something for free when you take action tonight at full price. I'm going to give you my now VSL software. Now I mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. This masterclass comes with lifetime access to my own VSL creation software called now VSL, but this is only for full pay customers only. This will work beautifully with Jasper because inside now VSL, you can create a long form VSL using Jasper and its research tool and its kick-ass AI, you can populate the fields inside now VSL. So this is perfect to work together. And you'll use my five-step VSL formula, which is embedded already inside now VSL with copy I've already written from 27 of the top converting VSLs I've ever done. So that is going to be at your fingertips tonight, immediately for as long as you need it, as long as you take the full pay option here. Now you'll use this software, like I said, along with Jasper, and you'll slice your VSL creation into hours versus months. It's going to be amazing. But next it gets even better. I want to give you the metabolic VSL dissection secrets from a $50 million VSL. I could dissect one of um, hundreds of VSLs, dozens for sure, but I chose this one, metabolic factor. And here's why it leveraged all nine of those attention framework components, the ones I covered. In fact, it was one of the main VSLs I dissected to figure out why is this still converting and paying me insane residuals after years, how is this working? You know, why, what made this different? And I got lucky to be honest with you. I didn't know all nine. I, I didn't have the framework that you're going to have. I just got lucky with this one. <laughs> so I had to reverse engineer it. So I nailed both the positive and negative hooks inside of it. And I spoke to the ideal buyer's buying brain. And the result was over 50 million in sales and still doing strong after five years. Now it's a lot more than 50 million. I just can't say the real figure, but these are commission checks. So the very first commission check I got, now this is not what I got paid to write the VSL. This is my royalties. So $32,285 in October, 2015, not bad, but this is five years later. It, it's still going 14,000, Most VSLs don't do this folks. You can't go five years without changing a word of your VSL. Normally it's still converting today. I'm still getting checks. I wish they were still in that $30,000 range, but they're pretty darn healthy. And that's what's so awesome. It's going to last a long time. It's going to help you stick around a lot longer. And part of the training is the free million dollar page layout. So people try to guess what to put on their VSL page. And we were about to talk about that. How do you produce a VSL? What do you put on the page? Well, you'll never have to guess because I'm going to show you the layout I used for $300 million plus VSLs for me, for my clients. And the cool thing is how simple it is. It's just unbelievably easy to, to build. Uh, you, if you can't do a, if you can't work in WordPress, you can hire it done for probably about a hundred bucks tops. So it's not expensive. It's just very effective. And this means all the guesswork for your VSL 
for your high converting VSL is going to be removed. And all you have to do is go to the aiauthor.com forward slash go. But I want to throw in something else, and that is million dollar VSL emails. You need some emails to drive follow-ups, to get your leads, to correspond with your leads, to drive them to the VSL, to make sure they follow up if they didn't buy. Wow. Well, what if you used the same exact follow-up series that I've used and you just fill in the blanks? Because I'm going to include the best money-making email templates for VSL promotion from opt-in all the way to last call. And these bonuses are pretty much like giving you a VSL business in a box. I mean, this you know, the way you, in fact, if you wanted to make a business out of making VSLs, this would be a good way to do it. But it certainly will help your business if you go to the aiauthor.com forward slash go. Now I'm almost finished here, but I just couldn't help myself with the $100 million baby simple VSL funnel. I'll show you one of my clients' funnels and the pages that they went, they used to go from an ad on cold traffic to a buyer. And they built a hundred million dollar company in three years. And what freaked me out is how freaking simple this page is. It is an easy to replicate funnel. I'm going to show it to you all the way, all the secrets, all the cool little things that made it different than other, the other people that are doing something that looks similar. It's not. I'm going to break it down for you. Now, this is limited only, and this is not starting until August, okay? But you're also going to get free access to the Now Faculty and Community. So you get your questions answered by me, my team, and other Now students, other Now VSL clients. You get feedback on your hook from people. You can get maybe the first 90 seconds looked at, get your offer looked at, the three most important elements of a VSL. Ask people. They'll give you some advice. Or optionally, you can have your entire VSL review. Now, this is a paid option, but this is the place you go to do it. Where VSL pros trained by me can do this for you. So look at this. Look, get a second pair of eyeballs on this thing. So awesome. Now, again, this is available only to the single pay customers. And this way you'll never feel alone. You're always just minutes away from getting answers and help. And then finally, you're also going to get my VSL recipe stack. I mean, we, of course, you're going to get that, right? Inside, you're going to receive a stack of the super hot VSL recipes developed in collaboration with the AI author. And all you have to do is take what you learned from the attention framework VSL masterclass and all the stuff I'm going to teach you, then enter a few keywords and those data points, and then watch Jasper go to work. VSL content in seconds for the mini VSLs. Just amazing. So here's a quick recap of this entire package, just so you can see what you're getting tonight. You're going to get the avatars diary training. Again, mind reading your ideal buyer, a very handy skill to have, knowing your ideal buyer like the back of your hand, using the same language that they use to describe their problems, their goals, their dreams. That will feel as if you wrote a letter directly for them. That alone is worth more than the price that you're investing today the hook system, how to get the big idea, how to get the hooks, how to get those one big problems, one big solution. What am I, how am I, how am I creating those so fast? This is exactly how to do it. Of course, you get the masterclass. You get the five-step VSL formula tonight. So you can go through this tonight with the now VSL software for full pay members. Okay. Lifetime access to that as well. You also get access to the now VSL faculty and community. Again, full pay value. That's a 1994 value. You're going to get the metabolic VSL dissection inside a $50 million VSL, the million dollar VSL page layout, 197 million dollar VSL emails, and the $100 million baby simple VSL funnel. And all of that adds up to a whole lot. But before we do get there, you're also going to get my VSL recipe stack. Again, right there in you, they're, they're doing more and more. In fact, Darby sent me over something today to look at. Oh, I've got something else for you to look at. So they're putting some really juicy stuff inside of Jasper and you're going to get access to the VSL recipe stack. So you can build mini VSLs in seconds. Now the retail value of that adds up to $8,581. Okay. It's a lot of money, but tonight it's one installment of $1,497 when you use the code VSLAI when you check out, or you can pay full price Six installments, $333, but you lose out on the now VSL bonuses. Now, let me issue a couple of warnings here before we get to your questions. This is not publicly available. You will not find this, like I said, anywhere else. This is the only place this is available, period. And this is only available to this web price, uh, this web class, and the prices are subject to change at any time. Okay, so we're going to produce this live. It's going to go online, but I'm not guaranteeing that this price is going to stick around, nor am I guaranteeing you can even get in because we're going to maximum a tendency of 500 and this is going out to 
tens and tens of thousands of people. So this is the best price that you will ever see for this training without question. It is availability on first come first serve basis. 48 hours probably is all it's going to last, but maybe, maybe it'll last a full week. I don't know, but that's going to be about it because it will eventually sell out. So quick tips on producing a mini VSL. And then we're back to the boys slides. Here's what I suggest. Be sure to limit your words. Like I said, to about 15 per slide for the maximum hypnotic effect. That's what you want. And if you go to johnvincent.com forward slash easy, you can get the best deal on easy VSL to actually make your slides. Okay. That's pretty cool. So easy VSL doesn't make copy. doesn't do anything like Jasper. doesn't do anything like now VSL. It's not a copy machine. <laughs> it is a pretty slide machine and it's very good at this. So it only can sync up your voice with the slides. So you can do all this on your own. You don't have to hire a layout person. You don't need to mess with keynote. Pretty convenient. So the voiceover, how do you do that? Well, you can record yourself using a cheap $40 mic. You can use a blue Yeti. You can even use a lapel mic, okay? Or you can go to Fiverr and you can hire a voiceover person for next to nothing nowadays. People are working very inexpensively in the voiceover world. There's so many people doing it. You can also hire out the whole thing if you want to. If you don't want to do the easy VSL route, just don't let production stand in your way because it's really not hard to produce this. It really isn't. You can do it all yourself. You can hire it all out or you can do a combination of the three of the two. Or, and, and then when you get down to hosting, it's very, very simple. Easiest way is to upload to YouTube and host for free. And YouTube is super fast too. So that's really cool. But if you want more control and you want to see where people are diving off your VSL and where you can fix it, if you want to look at data, if you're really a data freak like I am, go to johnbinson.com forward slash player. That's the best deal you'll find on Vitalytics. That is the player that I use on all of my high traffic VSLs. So again, if you want a high converting VSL that you can build a real solid, predictable internet business around, yes, <laughs> you should be saying yes, right? And you know, this is an insane value. If you don't know that, I'm sorry, but you should. You need to take advantage of this offer and the money stacking bonuses I'm giving you right now. And again, it comes with a rest easy, more sales or else 30 day money back guarantee. All you got to do is go to the aiauthor.com forward slash go. And don't forget to use the, the discount code VSLAI. All right, boys, over to you. John, thanks so much. Uh, what an incredible amount of value. Uh, when I look at that, I'm like, how many A-B tests did you all run on that landing page? How about all those emails in the sequence? Uh, yeah. This is not just like getting um, the end result of a VSL. It's also getting the end result of all of the past experiences compounded. All of those tests, all of those different types of companies put under pressure, millions probably spent in ads. How many you think if it created a billion plus in sales? So, you know, the, the audience here is getting the result of so many experiments mm -hmm. that have been refined to this process that you have now been able to, to offer here. Yeah. Yeah. Years and years of, of trial and error and figuring out the formulas that work and then helping other people figure out the formulas that work and tweaking it and retweaking it. You know how it goes. And yeah. eventually you come up with something that's, you know, that helps people not only just start off with on a more solid footing, but really go for a turnkey product. So that's what our goal is here. And, and combining all of our technologies together, it's, it's just a win, win, win. Absolutely. And then also having the community there, uh, people that are doing the exact same thing alongside of you, uh, mm -hmm. who are also going through this training. And then you have, I guess, experts, uh, you said faculty mm -hmm. there to help refine your ideas, just as you did, you know, to, in today's training, you know, helping me come up with the idea of the cortisol crisis, you know, <laughs> and, and packaging <laughs> that like, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, you know, how much is that, you know, when you have the training, um, in the community alongside of you, this yeah, all exactly. really just fits neatly yeah. together. Yeah, it, it, it's it, and we can't wait for the uh, the the faculty coaching, the group coaching starts. We're gonna start with uh, probably once every two weeks, but we're gonna start in August with the attention framework masterclass, of course. And then uh, that, so you're gonna get having me and other people like my, me on the calls. Uh, my team is full of expert VSL writers, and having them around to say, "Hey, I'm stuck on a primary solution. I'm stuck on." I, I can't think of a, a, a branded term for X, Y, Z, or, or what do you think of this as a, as a hook or a lead for a VSL or a pattern interrupt? 
I mean, that is just invaluable, invaluable inf information to have. And to have that given to you for this kind of price is, yeah, it's unheard of. It's awesome. It's so cool. Yeah. And, and just to take all the calories out of trying to think of how to do this, you know, uh, when I think about how we're going to apply this at Jasper, um, you know, cause we spend a lot on ads and we mm -hmm. want to make that more efficient and we want to be able to, uh, have this for each of our audiences. How do we, um, you know, I have a lot of things on my plate as, you know, uh, head of marketing and figuring out, you know, how do I spend my time to just be mm -hmm. given the path to save me all of that, that research and the mm -hmm. editing, et cetera. Um, mm -hmm. well worth it. Awesome. Sorry, guys, I went past uh, the slide. Uh, we were uh, going to the Q&A here. So I, the, the Q&A portion, which I, I think we've covered a lot of questions already, like how do you do it and all this sort of thing. But if you have anything left over, Austin, that you want to ask before we get on to the free gift that we have at the very end that we promised, almost forgot, <laughs> but I didn't forget. So um, by the way, to get that deal, say 500 bucks, the AIauthor.com forward slash go. Yeah, so um, some of the... The questions that came in uh, beforehand, getting ready for this. Uh, what are the exact dates of those live trainings? Okay, the exact dates are written down here. <laughs> They're written down. Oh boy, uh, they say so August fourteenth through sixteenth, I believe, and August twenty second through twenty fourth. But Doug, can you confirm that? It'd be Kirby? August sixteenth uh, to eighteenth. Sixteenth, eighteenth. And then August 23rd through the 25th. And that's yeah. going to be uh, from 12 to 2 central time each day. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, we so all get busy sometimes in the middle of the day. So if we can't attend that live, uh, what's the, do we still get like recordings or access there? Get you, Yeah, you're the only ones that do. So you get the recordings and you get uh, all the Q&A recordings. It's like being here live. And don't forget that you can, uh, during the, during the, the two weeks course here, we also give you email support. So that's something I didn't mention. I probably should have mentioned, but so during that time within reason, now my support team has been given the within reason command, which means if you send three emails in a day, we're probably going to start, start ignoring you, but, but Hey, we want to help you with email support. If you can't attend this, like if you have a question and go, could you ask John or could you ask one of our trainers? What did he mean by this? Or can I get an example of that? We want to be here to help you from start to finish. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, you know, if they start now, they get some instant uh, things to start consuming before the the masterclass coming up in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's stuff I, I'm I'm actually quite proud of too. Because um, now I got to say here now, now we have uh, Copy Pro AI is is does have an AI component to it, as you know. And Copy Pro and and Jasper are really interesting, really interesting to work together with. And we we actually have some of our customers using Jasper and Copy Pro, and and it could be vice versa. I don't know, but mm -hmm. but now VSL is there's no there's no AI involved at all. <laughs> so there's there's nothing there's nothing fancy like the AI stuff going on. But what is going on is an algorithm that takes the top 27 VSLs that I wrote, and we put together copy from all of that. And that copy is spit out in a unique form every single time because you're the one inputting things. So if you take the research that you can do in Jasper and definitely the research you're going to be doing inside the attention framework stuff, you can start putting your VSL together right now and you don't have to wait. Now we're talking a long form VSL. So, and it also at the same time does all your short form VSLs. So that's kind of cool. And then you can look at how net what now puts out because it will I'll put all your slides for you versus what. Uh, Jasper puts out, combine the two together. They should work together. These should be things that are complementary for each other. And they are. So you can start playing around with this tonight. We're giving you free access to that software. It's 1497, the software, and that's free inside of this. So we want to give you that. And then the five-step VSL formula is all the video training that has done over a billion dollars in VS VSL sales. And one person's done that actually. The, I could I should change that to, you know, like 14 billion probably, but but I'm I want to stay conservative, but that's that's you know, one one company did more than a billion dollars. But, but uh, that's pretty impressive for, for VSLs and they're going through my train. So you're going to get that same formula that built, helped build Agora and you're going to get the same formula that helped launch thousands of other VSLs. So that's exciting. You're getting all that tonight. Uh, so when you go to the author.com for slash go, and then of course the live training will cap it all off. And what I like about this is it is in a few weeks. So that gives mm -hmm. you time to mark out your calendars, plan for it. You know, if there's other campaigns that you're currently running, uh, you know, you can still do those. And then now you're starting to put in the work uh, from the 16th to 18th and 23rd yeah. to 25th. 
during that period, now you're starting to build up your next campaign going into quarter four. Like, you know, I have some aggressive goals for building pipeline for our sales team. Uh, you know, I'm also looking at our go to market for our freemium and our Chrome mm -hmm. extension. So then that's like non sales team driven. They need qualified leads. Then we also have like driving free trials, uh, getting downloads, collecting like, you know, uh, prosumer leads. And so I'm just saying that this can work for both up market and for wide market, uh, yeah. audiences. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, what you all got today already for free is you got the Jasper.ai um, starter template. So mm -hmm. if you haven't already signed up, you know, you probably have if you're watching this, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's in your starter plan. The 29 bucks a month gets you access to all 50, et cetera, templates. Um, just type in mini VSL and it'll show up. You can use that right now. Uh, Darby gave you uh, the AI author's recipe for the mini VSL. And that mm -hmm. allows you to brainstorm. You'll need access to boss mode for that. And that allows you to talk to the AI directly. Uh, there's no influences from us on its training. So you're literally having a conversation with the, uh, with the, uh, with Jasper, the AI, mm -hmm. and it is then writing out brainstorming with you uh, to create your, your niche, your problem, agitate solution, all of that. And then John has given away, I guess, uh, now it's time to share uh, <laughs> your free gift here. Yes. The story selling formula. Okay. Again, you need to know how to tell your story or if you're a copywriter, a story, any story. Uh, if you're a marketer, you need to know how to tell your story, your company story, your origin story in a way that sets up the sale rather than in a way. So, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch any great movie, watch any great television series and see a television series is even better because you watch a television series and you know how they're leaving you with a cliffhanger. You can't wait to the next one. Uh, I mean, goodness, breaking bad was probably the world's greatest cliffhanging <laughs> television series in, in history, but they knew how to sell in a story. In this case, they were selling the next episode. In your case, you're selling an offer. So I want to give this to you by going to johnbenson.com, J O N B E N S O N.com forward slash story selling gift. If you go there, it's free. You just tell me where to send it, pop it over to you. It'll be in your inbox in 10 or 15 minutes. And that will help you a lot. This is the process I use. And this actually is, is, is quite a bit of training. It, it's, it's actually several videos and, and some PDFs. So I think you'll get a lot out of just this training alone. Love it. Well, um, I hope that today we delivered on many promises, probably mm -hmm. over delivered on the amount of value here uh, for free. If you loved what you uh, learned today from John, and you like what we're doing with AI and copywriting put together, uh, then you're going to really love this training. Um, I'm excited to go through it as a professional marketer myself. Mm -hmm. And Darby Rollins is a professional copywriter and uh, both avid fans of AI. Uh, this is really just perfect. <laughs> uh, and, and it aligns with our annual goals. So uh, I can't wait to, to apply this here uh, and would love to be alongside of you. Uh, alongside of us all together here making great VSLs. Awesome. Thank you so well, much, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.